Um, today finishes up the election, and uh, we want to have Secretary of State Frank LaRose to kind of give us an update. We'll see if Frank is on. Frank is there. Hello, Frank. Hey, Governor. How's it going? <laughs> Looks like you're in the, in the war room there. We are. We're here at the operations room at the Ohio Secretary of State's office. Of course, today is the culmination of Ohio's primary. We're looking forward to bringing this in for a landing. This is not what any of us had envisioned months ago for how we wanted to run this election. But I tell you what, we've risen to the occasion. Ohio's boards of elections, these bipartisan teams of very dedicated and patriotic individuals at all 88 counties have risen to the occasion. And tonight at 730, we're going to close the polls. We're going to tabulate the results. And when Ohioans hear those results, they'll know that it was the voice, the true reflection of the will of the people of Ohio. That's why we, we run elections, um, and that's something we believe in. As you know, this is personal for me. I've had the chance to see people risk their lives to cast ballots. I tell the story about seeing people in Iraq when I served there uh, who came out despite the threats of terrorists. They were told that they would have their fingers cut off if they had purple ink on them, indicating that they had cast a ballot, and they still had a 70% voter turnout. And so that will, uh, that human desire to make your voice heard, to have a, a participatory role in your, in your government is a strong one. And Ohioans are exhibiting that. We've, uh, we've seen over 1.9 million requests for absentee ballots. That's great news. 1.5 million have been returned. We know that many more are being returned as we speak. We just heard from the U.S. Postal Service that uh, they're delivering 17,000 ballot envelopes to the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections. Hamilton County is going to be receiving 10,000. We're hearing numbers like that all over the state, and we're hearing that people are lining up in their cars uh, to come and drop their ballots off at the secure drop box at each county board of elections. Again, all 88 counties have a secure drop box available so that Ohioans that have waited, that still have their ballot, if your ballot's sitting there on your kitchen table, we want to hear your voice. We don't want you left out of this election. You have until 7.30 tonight to get that ballot submitted. you got to get it to your county board of elections. But at 7.31, the window closes. Those boxes are going to be emptied, and the tabulation is going to be done, and we're going to report those results tonight. Something else that's important to mention, uh, not only the work of those uh, thousands of really hardworking, dedicated elections professionals, but really uh, this has been a, a big lift and a big undertaking. Listen, Ohioans of all different types uh, have risen to the occasion. We had grocery stores that were putting out absentee ballot requests. We had food banks around Ohio that were distributing absentee ballot requests. We even had a guy in, uh, in Wayne County that figured out that if he uh, tied a bag to the bottom of his remote-controlled drone that he could fly it to his neighbor's house and deliver some absentee ballot requests to them. Ohioans rise to the occasion, and that's exactly what we've done. Again, uh, this election looks different. Life looks different. Um, life has changed dramatically in the last few weeks. One thing that will never change, the bedrock principle, is that every voice matters and every vote counts. And that's the spirit that we've taken in this election. We look forward to getting it concluded tonight and moving on to making sure that we're prepared for November. Uh, thank you for your leadership, Governor. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor Husted. It's great to have a Lieutenant Governor who himself served as a Secretary of State. He's been a great partner in this endeavor. Uh, and my, my, my message to Ohioans is get your absentee ballot submitted, if you still have it, down to your County Board of Elections. You can get the address for your County Board of Elections at voteohio.gov. That's the trusted source of information for that address to get down there and submit your absentee ballot in the secure drop box before 7.30 tonight. Frank, let me, Thanks, let, Governor. Let me thank you very, very much. Let me just ask a question um, for, for clarification for everyone. The, the drop box uh, at the Board of Elections, is that a, is that a drive-by? Can you drive by, and, and how does that work? Do you have to go in, or how does that work? Well, we want to minimize the number of people going into Boards of Elections. Of course, as a result of the law that the state legislature passed, we created a special circumstance in uh, limited in-person voting for today, and that's just for Ohioans who are homeless or disabled, who can't vote by mail, or for that rare circumstance where somebody requested their ballot by the Saturday deadline but hasn't received it yet. Uh, for those individuals, they'll be going inside. For everyone else, yeah, it's, it's come to the drop box. Most of them are a drive up. Uh, some of them may be up by the front door of the Board of Elections. You just park briefly, you walk up there, you, you put your ballot in the drop box, they'll be counted. And you'll hear uh, your voice will be heard when we tabulate the results tonight. Many of them are drive up. Some you may have to walk a short distance to. And they can do that, Frank, between right now and 730 tonight. 
right now and until 7.30 tonight, and we're hearing that a lot of people are. We've had counties where there's a sheriff's deputy out there directing traffic because there's so many cars coming in the parking lot to drop off ballots. That's a good thing. We can do this in a socially distanced way, uh, in a way where you can submit your ballot and, and still be safe and sound. And, Governor, that's been our goal from the beginning uh, during this public health emergency. We didn't want to ask Ohioans to choose between their fundamental rights uh, and their health. And thankfully, hasn't been the perfect process, but Ohio has run a smooth and a fair election where you can cast your ballot without jeopardizing your health. That's the goal. That's what we're doing here in the Buckeye State. And thank you for your leadership, Governor, on that. Frank, thank you very much. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Frank LaRose, Secretary of State.